Good morning. Sunday morning. And it's been a really nice week. But I, and this is Barbara from Little Rock. And uh, <laughs> I want to tell you what's going on. Oh, and thank you for your cards and your comments. I do appreciate it. Hope you're all doing well. And I did look up those books of uh, was Louise. Oh, what's her name, Louise? Hmm. I can't remember the last name, Linda, but I looked them up and I'm looking into seeing what, if I want to read a series. I mean, in order, I may be the way to go. I don't know. We'll, I'm looking into that. Thank you for your suggestion. I appreciate that. Hey, Dot, how you doing? And uh, everybody else out there, Miss Vicki. And I don't have my thing, Vicki, because it's buried on my desk, I think. I hope. I hope it's there. <laughs> I've been looking and looking for it. But anyway, uh, this week... Uh, Oh, and hi, Sharon. Thank you for the gowns. I love the gowns. They're beautiful. We still got that little kitten that needs a home. We're running out of time. I don't know what we're going to do because we can't have but one animal here. So none of us can take this little kitty uh, because where we live limits how many uh, animals we have in the house. I don't know exactly what somebody's keeping them for, keeping her for us now. But we've got to find a home because they can only keep them so long. And then I don't know. Anyway, call me, contact me if you know if somebody wants a kitty. Okay, this is a service that I did. I've been searching for since I've been here. Since I left the hills and came here, I've been looking for transportation for me and a walker. And I knew it had to be out there. And I have been searching and searching and searching, Care Link, all kinds of senior services, and they just weren't available to me. Um, some of them is because um, I'm not on Medicaid. Some of them it, is because they can't load me onto the transport. Uh, some of them are just not eligible for this area, but of all the denials and the shut doors, the doors have opened up for me. Yes, they have, and I'm very excited about this. This is called, and I need, anybody in this area needs to be aware this is available to you. All right, this is a, a para transit eligibility under the American Disabilities Act and uh, this I had to put in at first I requested an application which it had to go to I, I told you in the previous video to the uh, my doctor or my medical advisor whoever that consultant is and they had to sign and validate my application well, Metro, let's see, it's called Rock Regional Metro. So it's Little Rock, Maumelle, North Little Rock, Pulaski County, and Sherwood. Of course, I don't know if that includes for me or if it's just for North Little Rock, since that's where I live. But this is what it's called, Metro Links. This is the handbook they gave me. And you look it up, metrolinks.org. No, it's rrmetro.org. R-R-M-E-T-R-O dot O-R-G. And this is fantastic. They call me and pick me up in a, in a bus. I mean, they loaded me in the bus with this lift. And put me in, I mean, I just went on in there, got me a seat, and they took me to the main offices uh, to get my ID. I was briefly interviewed, and then they took a picture of me with my mask on. Of course, you have to have your mask on the whole time because of the virus guidelines. 
And what's amazing, this is good since now I am eligible for three years. I don't have to recertify this for three years, which I might get well. I keep praying that's, that's the case, but it may be the other way around. But anyway, I believe that it might be. I will get better. I will, will. Okay. So I talked to Miss Tony there. Okay, now this is the way I understand it. It's two seventy, two dollars and seventy cents uh, a trip. So if you go somewhere and then they come back and pick you up, it's two seventy and two seventy, two dollars and seventy cents each trip. You call them uh, no earlier than seven days before, and you can call two days before, and hopefully they're not booked and range where you want to go. Now, what's surprising to me is, uh, and delightfully surprised, they'll take me anywhere I want within the area. So if I want to go to the dentist, if I want to go to the doctor, if I want to go to the hairdresser, if I want to go to Dollar Store, Walmart, if I want to go to church on Sunday, when church actually opens up for everybody can go, I can go see a friend, yes, in their house, go, I mean, go to their house. Of course, I can't take my puppy. I'm working on that, but they you can't take your puppy. Uh which limits my day visits with my friends because Connor will be in the house in his crate all day long, which I know a lot of dogs do because a lot of you guys work or you get away or you have a yard they can play in. But Connor's used to being with me 24-7, and he, he does get very sad. If, even if I'm gone an hour, he, he gives me a hard time is what he really does. He takes all my shoes. Once he gets out of the cage when I get home, he takes everything out of my closet and throws it around. Like, you know, get, get my attention. You had me locked up. But anyway, getting back to this. So I got the ID, and now I'm ready to roll. I mean, this is like a heaven said. I mean, you know, usually you say... The, the independence is gone if you have to ask somebody for a ride all the time. You go, okay, you ask your children, you ask your sister, you ask your aunt, your uncle, your cousin, your mama, your grandmama, you know, anybody off the street. Can I have a ride? No, really. Now, if I could have got on a street bus, of course, yes, I could get around. But I couldn't get on there. I couldn't even walk to the bus. And it's right here. I mean, it's just right here up on top of this hill, but I can't get up this hill. I try to. And then once I get to the bus, you can't get in because the thing's this high. Your steps and everything. There's no way I could get in. So this is the answer. And I'm very, very, very excited. They're very nice people. I, had, I came back. I, they picked me up in one bus, and it was a very nice person in there, very nice young lady. And another young lady in a different bus brought me home, and they were delightful. Everybody in the office was delightful. They weren't condescending. They weren't treating me like I was a leper. <laughs> but they were very, very nice. And uh, I guess this is provided by the city of North Little Rock. And I want to thank you. I truly, truly, truly do. I don't know what channels to take, but I'm sure I'll write a letter. You know how I love to write letters. But I think I'm going to uh, write the Miss Tony a, a letter of appreciation. And it says here, uh, uh, Metrolink service area is three-fourths of a mile either side of a Rock Regional Metro fixed bus route, not to include the express routes. Well, I'm going to have to look up and see what all that is, but right now the main issue was getting to where I needed to go at a certain time and get back at a reasonable amount of money. Now, I love Uber. Uber was great, but I cannot afford Uber. I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't. But now I have this as an option. This is a great option. 
uh, check it out. Uh, it's another service provided for in Arkansas uh, for retirees, people independent living, trying to make it on your own without bothering everybody in the world. And they're saying, oh, gosh, I, wanna, I don't want to answer the phone because she might be wanting to go somewhere and I don't want to take her. She talks my ear off or whatever. You know, this gives you independence. And I am happy for it. Check it out. Okay, well, you know where I am at the doggy park. It's not quite seven. It's Sunday morning, and you know who comes on Sunday morning? My daughter. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I'm so happy that she's coming today. Last week, her and Danny came, and they fixed the front door. Oh, I was so happy, 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 happy. But they have been a blessing to me. I know they're, they're very, very busy people, and I hate to intrude on them. But now I don't have to call them for a ride anymore if I can work this out. And I do believe this will work for me. It may not work for you. But independence is in this right here for me. I can go to the dollar store. Mm -hmm. Stay a couple hours, get my walker, walk around, go to Goodwill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what was they? They said, you can go to the liquor store too. <laughs> and I was thinking, hmm. No, not really. <laughs> but I could. So it does. The, the sky's the limit. If as long as it's in with the range here. Well, Connor's already been running around, and I've had my first cup of coffee. I'm gonna go home and get another cup of coffee. But I wanted to make a quick video today to let you know of this service. And if you want to share this information, please do. Please do. I think the more people that use it, the the better everything works you know that helps uh finance even though i'm sure they've got money to support it if you can't prove in any kind of grant or money from the government you know you got to prove that you're doing something with it you know the money is just not wasted and you've got three people a year and i've given you a hundred thousand dollars or twenty thousand whatever they have to prove that the service is being used to continue to receive the money to support that service. Always remember that. Okay. Have a great day. Uh, and pray for the world. And remember, God has you in his hands. Pray for Mother Earth. Yes. Have a great day. Remember, you're important. Even if you're sitting in your apartment, you're still important. Write a letter, call a friend, read a book, reach out, sit on your porch. Even if you have to get some abuse, don't worry. Just sit out there for a while, get your book and read, work a search game, do something. Get out, you folks. Don't stay in your independent living apartments and watch TV all day. What kind of life is that? Don't waste your life. Enjoy your life. Okay. Get up and get out of bed. What is that? How is that? Get up, get up, get up, get out of bed. Oh, I don't remember the song. If you know it, send me the words. Anyway, have a good day. Love you, and I'll talk to you sometime tomorrow if all works well.